Hampi in South India in Karnataka, there is a hill, Anjaneyadra Hill, which is known as the birthplace of Hanuman. Now there are some some people say it's near Nasik, some people say it's that place. I don't know all of that, but um, when I went there one day when I was going to Hampi, this is some nearly ten years ago now. You know, we were all there. Four of us school friends were there for a holiday. and i saw i knew that this temple existed and i wanted to go and have darshan there my friends were asleep 4:30 in the morning i woke up reached there around 5 5:15 in the you know and um, at that time there was no one there there were some stalls on the uh, you know uh, at the foot of the hill there were shut there were no vendors there were nothing there were two dogs there were two dogs in the darkness they saw me approaching and they started running towards the car and i thought okay boss there are two dogs they are going to jump on the car they are going to be aggressive mera nahi hoga i got out of the car they were so happy this person has come and i'm i said okay well this is a sign and they started going thoda ahead and looking back whether i'm there or not i started following them at that time this was like 5 5 15 pitch darkness before sunrise you go in there and these two dogs are guiding me and then you get to a point where they've painted the steps yeah this is literally steps cut into rock taking you to the top of the hill one point they reached there the dogs diverged to the other side yeah away from the uh, away from the path so i was like okay the dogs have got me to this point and let me follow them for a bit over there they took me there there was a samadhi what does that mean samadhi is a memorial in this context is a memorial to a spiritual being typically what ends up happening is where the spiritual being either was cremated or actually in hinduism if someone has attained self realization we don't cremate we uh, bury so that was i don't know what specifically had happened here but the samadhi was there so uh we have grown up with the concept of having a guru and being at a samadhi so i knew that there's some great being over here powered my hand did a parikrama went round it once there was some dirt over there i cleaned it up there was a bin on the side put it in the bin tied it up and thanked you know just thank them for bringing me to them for whatever reason i didn't know i went and by that time i turned around the two dogs had disappeared that I mean, not they were not magical they were there they just got down there <laughs> why weren't they magical <laughs> they Here had but they had left they had left the scene in that period of time and by that time sufficient light had risen that the path was illumined on its own when after after that experience went up the hill and you go up that anjaneya the hill there are points where you have to literally crawl under the rock to get to the other side because again this is not a man made temple with uh, you know parking lot and arrange everything this is you are going through a process and you are going through a little bit of hardship to get to the get to the source went up there <laughs> the, it was so beautiful like the temple hadn't even opened yet and i went and i was like kya darwaza khula hai andar jao and i was like, the deity was invisible so i sat there and i started meditating at that time one young priest was there he was he was pandit the wo saaf safai kar rahe the he was he was going to say nahi nahi to mot you actually started to say nahi aap uthiye aap bahar jaiye because a lot of people go there as a sunrise point so they'll go and watch the sunrise and hampi over there i had gone there to do hanuman ji ka darshan there there were then two sadhus not the pandit there were two sadhus they said to the pandit ki nahi usko rehne dijiye yahan pe I finished my meditation and then they offered me a cup of tea. फिर बातों बातों में I said कि नीचे there was one samadhi who was there. So this was the original sadhu who used to be at this point. And वो वहाँ पे उनकी गुफा है the cave in which he lived. He used to come up here and he used to offer worship here via his students. You know, so now it could be a tale of complete coincidence and this is not something that I recount too much because again these stories then become. like oh it's a bit fantastical and this and that but this is a true occurrence and nothing supernatural has taken place one could say it was an entirely coincidence it was entirely coincidence that two dogs found me entirely took coincidence that they got very happy entirely coincidence that they led me up a hill in the darkness entirely coincidence that the um, sadhu stopped the pandit from throwing me out of the place entirely coincidence from the goodness of the heart that they gave me some tea but somewhere you have to if your heart is full of love and you've gone there for a purpose you have to see the divine connection from all of these mm. that hanuman ji was there 
and he made all of this happen and he gave me a beautiful darshan for him so who is to say that hanuman ji doesn't exist yeah thanks for watching make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you